type in hashtag live. Now, a lot of people watch our replays. If you're watching our replays, just type in hashtag replay just so I know that you're watching. Property guru, George Markowski from Positive Property Solution joins us now. George, good morning to you. How are you, good George? Morning. You've got to hang out with guys like George who know the numbers. Get the real numbers, the facts. Because I can talk to you about cash flow and all those things. George is better that than me. The thing I'm static about George, he is a hardcore teacher. He really wants you to learn. Okay guys, we've got 10 seconds left. Can't wait to show you a great, amazing session tonight. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Um, hello and welcome everyone, great to see you here, and I'm going to have my co-host coming on in a second, uh, Belinda, and she's just having trouble getting in, um, let me just let her know where, where we are, re-screen, anyway, if you're watching live, please type in hashtag live, if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, because you know I watch, who is it, hello, how are you, now, how to have your cake and eat it too. Interesting. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that, guys. How to have your cake and eat it too, because that's important. And um, Erica, if you're in the audience, please type in hashtag Erica. Just let me know you're there, please. Thank you. So, guys, I want to talk about one fundamental thing, the difference between the stock market and real estate and property market. Because that's really important. I thought we mentioned replay already, and um, wow, well done. Anyway, I want to talk about the difference because this is part of the whole happy cake and eat it too. And today we're going to be talking about having your cake and eating it in lots of different ways. And um, basically, um, when you buy when you buy shares, you, what you do is you pay for the whole to get a part. So let's say there's 100,000 shares in a company called BHP, the blue chip shares. And if you buy $10,000 worth of share, you paid $10,000 for $10,000 worth of shares, and you end up paying for the whole shares and owning part of the company. Does everyone follow that so far? Because I'm going somewhere with this. Now, when you buy property, it's different. When you buy a property, I'll tell you what happens there. You actually end up buying with using a part, buying a whole. So let's say there's a $500,000 property. I use $100,000. I pay a deposit, but I buy the whole property. So that's what I mean by have your cake and eat it too, because I can buy a part of a property, but own the whole lot where with shares, you're going to pay the whole lot for a share and you only own a part. So when I buy a property, even though I'm paying for a part of it, I control the whole property, I make a return of the whole property, not just the part that I own, including the part of the bank, minus the interest, of course. So what does this say? Well, this is a magic thing called leverage. And leverage is very important. And what I want to do is I'm going to send a little invite to Belinda to come and join me because having Belinda on here is always awesome, always good value. And I'm going to email her right now. And we're going to get her on board because you're going to love having a chat to Belinda. And um, then we can talk more about this and how it works. Now I've got to find how to send it through to Belinda. And now I'm going to find my window again. So anyway, so leverage. See, a long time ago, there was a guy called Henry, Henry Ford. He invented a Ford Motor Company. And um, he said, I'd rather have 1% of 100 people 
than 100% of my own effort. And what it was describing there was leverage. And with leverage, that's the way you're going to become successful when it comes to real estate. You're not going to become successful in real estate doing it yourself. You're going to have to get help. And that's the fact of it. If I'm following that, yeah, I'm just trying to find trying to find my page because I've lost it. But that's okay. There's a lot of things I want to talk about tonight, guys. It's going to be great. So I'm still on the page, which is the main thing. So here I am, which is cool. I'm going to enter the studio and I can talk to you guys. So the latest trends of what's happening in the economy. So immigration has been a big thing. And there's been a lot of talk about immigration, what's been happening. But what economists are saying at the moment, right? So um, the chief economist, Dr. Diawati Modisabo, said that immigration is, could double housing prices by 2030, right? We're looking for another boom here. So, Belinda, are you in? Okay. Hello, Belinda. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Now, there's a bit of echo, but I'm going to remove the extra George. Hello and welcome. Hey, welcome, welcome. Happy days. Excellent. So, look, um, if you want to turn around to the camera, Sorry. that's great. Um, we're talking about how to have your cake and eat it too. And what we're talking about is with shares, how shares work and how other things work. And it's interesting because when you buy shares, what happens is you, let's say you buy $10,000 worth of shares, you pay $10,000 in order to get a percentage of that company. But when you're buying a property, and this is what I love about property, I can yeah. put $100,000 in the property and I end up owning a $500,000 property. So I'm using a piece to buy the whole. So you can buy the whole using a part instead of paying for the whole getting a part. It's the exact yeah. opposite. That's and, great. And why this is so exciting is because of leverage, right? Because I can invest 100000 into a $500,000 house and I get the full benefit of the 500000 going up in value, but also the rent in the $500,000 property. But when, yeah. I, when I buy $100,000 worth of shares, I get the benefit of exactly what I bought, nothing else. That's it, right? Yep. And Henry Ford, he talked about leverage. And leverage is the key because, yes, that's what happened when we buy a share. That's an interesting topic, yes. Um, leverage is the key to this whole thing. And that's what I love about property because having a cake and eating it too is about leverage, right? And But what you've got to do in regards to doing leverage is there's one big monster that's going to get in your way. It's got it's a three letter word. I think it's a bit of a um, bit of a swear word. It's called ego. <laughs> ego, right? I love it. So the one thing holding people back from using leverage is ego. Whenever you hear yourself saying, "I can do a better, faster, cheaper," that's ego, because you can't. Trust me, I've been right. investing for twenty five years. I can't do it better, cheaper, or faster. The only reason I can is because I have a team of experts that are better than me at what I do. In all different areas, correct. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't do any of it myself. What I am, I'm the conductor, right? I conduct it all and put it all together into yep. a beautiful masterpiece. But you ought to be a good conductor and play a sympathy, a symphony. Play a symphony that's going to really blow people's socks off. Absolutely. You can't, you can't conduct and then go play the trombone and then go play the drums, can you? No. Imagine, imagine a conductor doing that, right? <laughs> going well, around trying to play all of it. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. And what happens is people, old school people, what they do is they want to save money, they want to you know, use cash to buy property. 
they want to pay off their mortgage first. They go, everyone says, oh, you know, I get this all the time from people. They go, oh, well, what I want to do is I want to pay off my mortgage first and then I want to invest in property. Well, guess what, sunshine? You're going to go broke doing that. You're not going to end up anywhere and you're going to end up dead poor yeah. trying to pay off your look, mortgage. Look, usually people who cut corners, they're the ones that actually lose money long term because – They've tried to cut a corner and kept out a professional that can, you know, obviously help them long term. That's right, but you, you can't be an expert in everything. No, but you you gotta understand you can't, um, you can't just work your way out of, you know, work your way into making it successful with property. You gotta out strategize and you gotta think strategy. Yeah, you gotta think really smart, think strategy, and really get to the next level because that's the only way you're gonna do it. Correct. Right, because strategy is going to beat hard work any time of the, any, any time of the thing. Yeah, absolutely. Right? That's the fact of it. So um, what I was talking about is that one of the chief economists is saying that immigration is going to double Australian house price by 2030. That's what they're saying. Wow. I Look, I'm not surprised. And, and we need immigration. I mean, there's a lot of Australians who won't do those jobs and there's plenty of immigrants that want to come in and do those jobs that we don't. Exactly, exactly. And um, the fact of it is, I keep losing my page, so I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm just going to... You're going to have to read the comments because I can't see the comments. Okay, okay great. Yeah, so I will. comments come through, please read them out because I can't see the page because I've got, as normal, I've got 522 tabs open. Yes, and... no, I get that, George. I will handle the comments tonight. Don't you worry your little mind about that one. I'm in charge. Did you notice I'm wearing my glasses tonight? I did notice. Absolutely. What do you think of the new but glasses? I like the look. I like the look, yep. Georgie. Absolutely. Now, oh, okay. So, announcement to make. Announcement. We love little company announcements. Far um, away. What I like to say is we have got our workshop, live workshop, the 3rd and 4th of December in Adelaide. That means excited. It's totally sold out. Yeah, wow. Great stuff. But the deal is I've had six people reach out and because of family commitments and things, they can't actually make it. Wow, that's a really good opportunity for someone out there tonight. Yes, and look, I'm not actually going to charge you for these tickets, guys. I'm going to oh, give them my free. That's very generous of yes, you, George. Well, well, someone's already paid for them and I don't feel right charging people for it again. Now, the people that paid for it, um, I'm going to have to give them a recording of this thing or something like that. That's fine. Yeah, of course. But I think, you know, someone else's, um, what do you call it, situation becomes your opportunity. Comes so opportunity. if you guys are happy, if you live in Adelaide or if you plan on visiting Adelaide the 3rd and 4th of December or you want to fly down, it's totally worthwhile. This has been yeah. to be one of the must-attend uh, must property events of the year. Absolutely. So if you want to come along, type in hashtag free ticket and my team will reach out to you. Pay it forward. Someone wrote yeah. hashtag pay it forward. Yeah, <laughs> they might have seen you live in the um in the mall in Rundle Mall, George. Yes, yes, exactly. So So get in there, guys. This is a really good opportunity because we have sold out of that workshop. So hashtag free ticket. Hashtag pay it forward. I like the pay it forward. forward. Hashtag. And what will happen is our team will reach out. Um, we'll offer you a free ticket, but what we're going to do is first just do a quick call, 15-minute call, to make sure that you're the right fit. Because really, at the end of the day, we are a community of investors. Yep. And we're very guard, we guard ourselves very carefully about who we invite in. Correct. Absolutely. Someone just right. made a comment. No negative Nancy's allowed in our group. Anyway, no, someone comment. Absolutely. Someone's just said free ticket only if I can make it. So let you know that the dates will be the 3rd and 4th of December, the first weekend of December. Yeah, so. yeah. So because the free ticket and we're giving you one for free, if you can't make it, please don't take it. Exactly. Give it, give it to someone else because at the end of the day, what we're going to do is be fair. And um, to let you know, guys, it is um, going to be run in Adelaide this year. So we're going to be in lovely Adelaide. It's going to be um, amazing. It's going to be awesome. And um, next, next year we're looking at going to Bali. Excellent. Even better. Yes. That sounds like a lot of fun. And 
nice little tax deduction for our investors out there who want a nice little holiday and do some learning and everything else. Lots of different ways to look at it. That's right. That's right. So a lot of people have th- uh, uh, a lot of people I've heard are saying, okay, interest rates are high. We've been hearing right. that for a while now. Yep. yep. And people are scared, and a lot of people are saying what they're going to do is they're going to wait for interest rates to go down so they can buy property. <laughs> now, in, interesting theory there, because I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Because Warren Buffett. If he says if you follow the masses, you're going to get the same results the masses. Now, 70, 80% of people that invest in property lose money. Yeah. Now, there's a reason for that because they're like lemmings. They follow each other. So if everyone else, and I'd, I'd like to get the audience to comment on this, if everyone else Please. is waiting to buy once interest rates go down, they're waiting for that opportunity, what do you think you should be doing? Should you be doing the same thing and waiting like everyone else? Or do you yeah. think you should do something a bit smarter and be more strategic? Um, let's have a guess. Let's let's have some comments, guys. Let me know what you think. Put in the comment, guys. Who's what out there tonight? Oh, that's lovely. Should we follow everyone else or should we maybe do something a little bit different? Hmm. Absolutely. Let's see if anyone jumps on. But let me give you a little story. Someone said, no, nope, bye. Let me give you a little story. And people, one say, don't wait or you'll miss out on the market timing, then miss out on the boom when the rates come down. That's right. Because what do you think is going to happen when the rates go down? And everyone that's been waiting, sitting on their hands, I'm getting a little bit of a delay there, Belinda. Are you? Yes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can find my app I'll let you take over for a little bit. I'm going to just close a few of these windows. I've got too many windows. Yeah, maybe do that because I'm feeling like it's a little bit delayed. Yeah, I'm really like... You keep doing what you're doing. I mean, look, I haven't had it done a live for a while, so it's um it's nice to be back in front of every all these lovely members, our freedom fighters out there. Happy days. Yeah. And, um, you know, look, obviously George's topic tonight is how to eat, have your cake and eat it too, so... Best of both worlds there. We've got Best someone writing yep. saying, my husband has been saying M-O-W-S, Mo's. I don't know what that means. Not the right time to buy. So, look, I suppose, is your husband or an investor? Is he an expert? Is he looking at the research? I mean, look, George always used to say that comment that when's the best time to buy? Well, we used to say, what, 10, uh, ten years ago, but now, when's the next time to buy? Oh, no, okay. So, okay, I'm back now. There's no delay. But look, my husband has been saying now's not the time to buy. Now's look, not the time to buy. There's people, I'll give it to you this way. I've been investing for 25 years. So you kind I've, of had a bit of experience, right? Had a bit of experience. And Just a little bit. Over the last 25 years, I get people, and I still do, right? People telling me, now's not the right time to buy. So when I bought my first property, I was having a barbecue with my family and friends. Yep. And we had this, um, uh, one of the family friends, he's a lawyer, you know, walking around his three-piece suit. And I was saying, yeah, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to buy family this barbecue. Property. Yep, anyway. And he's like, um, the he goes, oh, you're an idiot. If you buy now, you're going to lose money. You know, I know what I'm talking about, blah, 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 blah. Right? Anyway, and... Everyone was just saying, don't buy now. Just You're just stupid buying now. Anyway, I bought it anyway because I thought, you know what? How many published properties that I have? Not many. I'm going to do my own thing, right? And I listened to my mentors instead. My mentors said buy. So I bought. I made money on it, right? So then I wanted to buy another property. And I'm at a family barbecue again. And they're going, yeah, you got lucky with that one. But don't <laughs> buy now because it's the worst time. You're going to lose money. It's not the right time. I bought again, and guess what happened? I made money on that. Then I bought my third property. Once again, people saying don't buy. And I kept going, and I kept going, and kept buying property, and I kept succeeding over and over and over and over again. And look, looking, the thing, yeah, I was going to say, back, you've got, 
You've looking got a back, formula. Looking back, every property was the right time to buy that I bought. <laughs> right? Because there's no perfect time. That's true. So her husband's right. Now's not the perfect time to buy. It's never a perfect time. But it's the right time. Hey, look. If you can afford it. Hey, George, what was happening when we were going into the Who's first my mentor? Problem? Robert Kiyosaki is my mentor. Um, and him and I um, do do a few things together. And, um, you know, Robert Kiyosaki, I haven't heard of him. The guy's brilliant. He's excellent. The, guy, the guy's a living legend. I mean, he wrote a book 20 years ago and he's still selling a million copies today. Yeah, and he's, he's really good. But one thing, he understands the fundamentals. You know, he's brilliant. And yeah, funny enough, Robert Kiyosaki had the same issue as I had. Funny enough, when we caught up and had a chat, his friends and family were against it and they still don't invest. I've still got friends and family that, you know, they could have easily been totally millionaires, right? Yeah. Totally millionaires if they listened to me. Hey, George, I've been, I've been around when you've given people advice and they've gone against it and lost money and then you kind of go, well, if you did what I say, you'd yeah. be multi now. Totally. It's not rocket science. But the deal is if you're trying to time the market, well, you're – you are, oh, someone heard about him when they were 19. Nice work. That's excellent. 20 years ago when you were 19. Okay, okay. so now you're um, 39. Cool. Um, the deal is, if you try to time the market, you shouldn't be doing property because that's speculation. And speculation, you might as well stick the Bitcoin in shares if you're going to speculate because, or the casino. Yeah, Someone's saying, hey, what's up? What's, what's up, up, G? What's up? What's cool. up? What's <laughs> up? Awesome. So, don't speculate, guys. Do not speculate. You know, look, be strategic. What you what you were experiencing at the at the family barbecue was just, um, you know, naysayers. And you you're going to have those people in your life if they don't really understand the market. It's very easy for them to say, "Hey, don't invest in property." But what are they doing? You know what? People that don't know nothing about property that try to tell me about property, even to this day, annoys me. You'd think yeah. now that I'm a decker billionaire in property. I've made lots of money. I've got lots of people around this country that I teach and people still try to give me advice. <laughs> of course they and, do. And they don't have any property. No, they don't. Or right. passive income. Or creating passive income. Or nothing. Just sitting back and saying their little two bobs worth. But there you go. So the deal is you really want to listen to someone that's more successful than you. That's what I did. I listened to people like Robert Kiyosaki. And um, learn from people that are better than me because they certainly were better. It's, and that it's pretty, really it's pretty simple. It's like we just find mentors with real life results that you want to achieve. That's right. But um, we've, let's go back to the so theme. Let's go back to this. So one of them said, said, I think we've all been programmed to wait. Um, yeah, look, um, we're not just programmed to wait, but what happens is, um, I can't see myself anymore. Yes, I can. What, what happens is this. We getting out of your comfort zone is uncomfortable. Yeah. Right. That's one of those weird things. So, but you, so we're programmed to be comfortable. Yeah. Right. We, you don't so what's learn. easier? What's easier? Sitting on a couch and watching TV or having a workout. Yeah. What's easier? You know, uh, basically, you know, eating a cake or eating making the salad. <laughs> Active it is. The hard things in life are good, but they're hard. Well, that's what, what getting out of your comfort zone is what's going to grow and evolve you and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Very brilliantly said, one of our Facebook users said, I'm sorry we don't have your name, but and there the you go. Thing is, the thing is, it's like we're, we're programmed to go the easy road, right? And, Absolutely. you know, it's a lot easier waiting than making a decision and doing something. So yeah. the funny thing is, when you're in the present and you're setting yourself mm -hmm. up for the future, what happens is that's when it's difficult. Yeah, fantastic. In the future, when you look back towards your past, it's Danish. It's Danish. Um, well, he's just a new, he only joined up just recently. So hello, Danish. Hi, hi Danish. Um, so what happens is, you know, there's two types of discipline. There's the, there's the pain of discipline 
and then there's the pain of regret. That's the two pains in life that you're going to get, regardless. Yeah, right? absolutely. Now, the bad part is, hi, mate, how you doing? The bad part is you're going to have to choose one of these pains. The good part is you get to choose, right? And the pain of discipline is always so much easier to pay than the pain of regret. Right. I don't care what situation you're talking about, whether it's, you know, you like someone and you're too scared to ask them out and then for the rest of your life you look back and you're not with that person, you regret it, or the pain of getting out of comfort zone and maybe meeting them, love your life. I mean, I had to do that with, with Christina. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd have the pain of regret. The yeah, pain definitely. of asking for a pay rise or going for that job that you really want instead of, you know, missing out on that and having regret. The pain of giving up smoking now and then not having the regret of having cancer and lying on your deathbed and when, you, and when you're older. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the pain of getting off your ass and saying, yes, it is the right time and investing in property compared to, you know, you know, dying dead broke and having had done nothing and not really created the life you deserve. Yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, I really believe that you've got this life. You should be thankful and grateful. It's the most amazing thing that could happen to you. It's great. Absolutely. And you should really do the best you can. There's no second chances. So, you know, go for that interview. Um, go for that. Do what you want to love. Live on a yacht. Explore. Um, try to get the love of your life to marry you. Become a painter if you have to, or a singer, or do your hobbies. Get fit, experience life, and just do it all. Exactly. But the cornerstone of all this in our capital society, and create something that we passed on. Absolutely, create legacy. And you know what? The cornerstone of all this is passive income. Yep. If you haven't replaced your income through property, that should be your number one goal. Because, because then you've got the opportunity to actually find out what you love. You've got the opportunity to do what your passion is. You've got the opportunity to create meaning and purpose in your life. Yeah. Right? I don't necessarily hunt for happiness. You know what I mean? No. Like, happiness is okay. But purpose and meaning is more important. Absolutely. Just plugging in my iPad instead of dying. Um, it's more important. So the fact of it is, you know, I really think um, the way to purpose is not... See, a lot of people try to create purpose, and what they do is they go to yoga retreats and do all this meditation and stuff like that, which is great. I love that. But yeah. the way to create purpose is to create passive income. Because then you're not restrained by working to eat, working to live, working to what you need to do. Correct. You need to get past that. Once you stop being a slave in the system, then the world opens up. Because the problem is, the world, the way it's created at the moment, you know, you're born, you go to school, they teach you how to be a robot and work for the rest of your life and pay off that stupid mortgage, put your <laughs> money into super, and then retire when you're 65 and do nothing with your life. Unfortunately, that's the system. And you know what? I say F the system. Forget <laughs> it. I exactly. say you should ask for more out of life than being a worker drone, right? We're not Correct. a beehive here. I really think that you deserve to create your own potential, whatever that is. Now, I don't care if it's building houses in Cambodia or it's being on a super yacht with champagne and bikini models. I don't care. Whatever your purpose is, your purpose, right? Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> That's right. But you know what? Do it. Build Do a it. house in Cambodia. Go on that yacht. Get those bikini models. Get that champagne out. Whatever. You know, just do it. <laughs> I'll do the yacht. I don't need the bikini models, but no, I'll put no. my yacht with the champagne. That sounds yeah, well, good. I, well, I'm married. I can't have any bikini models. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hey, and we the only bikini the model I've got is my wife. Like, that's exactly. It. Right. Exactly. Yep. So, guys, look, um, I'd love to meet you all in person because I'm going to be there with some of my best people, like Belinda, our circle of safety, going to be there for two days straight. Yep. Absolutely. 
I'm very new to this, but I live and breathe this one. That's beautiful. Fantastic. I love that. Thank you. Well the, done. Guys, what you need to do, you need to surround yourself with like-minded people. This is not, um, you know, positive property. It's a movement. Freedom fighters is a movement. We're not, we're a community. We're a movement. That's what we are. So, yeah, exactly. Guys, you got to be around. That's it. I mean, imagine, you, you, sorry, George. <laughs> imagine spending two days with me, all my experts, and our community Mate. in one amazing room. Imagine what's going to happen with your life. It's going to change because yeah. we're going to be breaking your mental barriers and getting to the next level. Correct. Absolutely. And, you know, they always say proximity is power and the five people that you surround yourself are your biggest influences. Well, guess who needs to be on that hand? Mr. George. Mark that's Oscar. right. That's if you want to get involved in obviously positive yeah. and that's why, And that's why I've got Kiyosaki out of my five people. Correct. Absolutely. And as default, you get Kiyosaki and your extended version of your five. Correct. Absolutely. You yep. get double whammy. Look, we got to go. So this is, um, can't wait. This is going to be amazing. It certainly is. Remember, guys, I've got six so tickets cool. to get away for free. Type in hashtag uh, pay it forward and I'm going to send you a ticket. Great. Type it in, guys. I've only got six to go. We've only got two weeks. That's it. So um, do that. Um, we're going to have to go because we've got our Sherp. Yep. So just oh, like wow. a Sherpa going up the mountain, we're helping our members. So yeah, so that, what that happens, um, just, so, just so everyone knows in this group, and the people that are members that are watching, they know what's happening. Scott, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, basically, what we do is we get our private group every week on a Thursday night, and me or the team or our circle of safety, we hang out with them for an hour, solve their problems, talk about property, and tell them what's going on and really – help them move to the next level and it's pretty exciting we've got we've got some members now that have got 30 plus properties i know it's it's just you know? fantastic and 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 um during our workshop we're actually going to be presenting a few awards because Yay, um exciting there's a, there's a few people that have actually reached their goal in a few short years you know four or five years they've actually replaced the income through property and they're actually graduating. They're leaving our program and leaving the workforce and living life on their terms. Great. How good is that? That's so awesome. I'm so proud that. of these people, and I'm, I'm really honoured to have them as part of our group. And you know, this is the most joyous moment. I feel like a parent and his child has <laughs> grown up and they're leaving and they've become a success. The birdie's leaving the nest. Right. <laughs> yeah, I really feel like that. You know, I feel like um, I feel like that, and it's and I feel so proud. It's fantastic. Yeah, and I love it. It's really good. I mean, that's... I get more excited by our members' success than my own success. Yeah, absolutely. I just believe the George's process. Thank you. That's excellent. Absolutely. Yep. You know, and look, okay, George, you do have a winning formula. It works. You that's know? right. And so I don't mix words. I don't. You know, if you're a snowflake, you probably don't want to listen to me. But if you're not a snowflake, you're fine. Absolutely. Linda, we got to get on to group. Hey, look, I just wanted to say, Linda, it's always so refreshing having you here. And Thank you, one Alan. more announcement, guys, by the way. We are on two in 12 months, Scott Hocking. Nice work, Scott. Oh, well it. done. Now, um, an exciting announcement is I've just been talking to a production team from Sydney, and they're looking at producing a reality slash observational documentary on me and positive property love it i'm glad i came overboard to positive that's yeah. fantastic i'm really glad too um that you come overboard and on board to positive which is great thank you so much guys i'm very grateful for everyone i'm going to go to our private group now i could be on here all night oh, we could just keep going we? so we're in fun. the zone yeah. Hey, hey guys, Waters, next, Thursday, next Thursday, I'm coming back on because I miss you guys so much. I'm looking forward to it. Thank Excellent. you, guys. Enjoy your evening. I'll see you, everyone. See you.